At the end of December 2021, the silent CTV series was released on the Netflix platform, which takes place in the near future, when the planet is struggling with water shortages. The Republic of Korea Space Agency sends a team to the moon to find lost samples from an abandoned research station. A crew of 11 astronauts use the space shuttle to get to the moon. It should be launched into the Earth's orbit by a launch rocket, and the Cosmodrome itself practically does not differ from those that are used in our time. One of the unusual and purely cinematic moments is the process of installing the shuttle on the launch rocket. The landing of the crew is carried out at the moment when the shuttle is still in a horizontal position. The entrance is organized through a hatch located in the rear end of the aircraft between the nozzles of jet engines. We see how the astronauts put their things in shelves over their heads, as if it were an ordinary plane, not a spacecraft. The layout of the cabin is also reminiscent of a small aircraft, in the front there are seats for the pilot and co-pilot, and behind them there are seats for the crew members, separated by a wide aisle. Comfort seats are equipped with armrests and four-point seat belts, which can be tightened by pulling the lever located on the outside of the chair next to the aisle. Near each place there is an individual square-shaped window and identical blocks with buttons, toggle switches and sensors of unknown purpose. More buttons are located on the horizontal ledge just below. Hoses are laid there and intercoms are visible. In general, there are too many different buttons and toggle switches inside. In addition to luggage compartment, oxygen tanks for space suits are fixed overhead. The pilot seats are located just below the floor level in the main part of the cabin, while the windows are clearly too high and do not provide a normal view. There is a front panel with a set of displays located under the windshield. The panel with toggle switches and buttons, familiar to aircraft, located above the heads of the pilots, is so high that it is impossible to get it without standing up. The launch is carried out using the main and auxiliary engines. In this regard, it is not much different from the launches of space rockets in our time. But neither the main nor the auxiliary engines were disconnected after entering orbit, but went along with the shuttle to orbit the moon. Before launch, a special mechanism sets the shuttle in a vertical position and pulls it towards the rocket. The locking mechanism consists of several crossed hydraulic supports. The problem in this particular block led to the fact that the shuttle had to be disconnected in manual mode for landing on the moon. After disconnecting the shuttle from the launch vehicle, its main engines failed to start. The pilots had to use the thrust equalization system and try to land in manual mode, controlling the shuttle with joysticks, as in modern aircraft. But it was almost impossible to soften the blow. The shuttle plopped onto the surface of the moon at great speed and rolled onto the roof, freezing on the edge of a cliff. It is surprising that the vehicle was so strong that it did not fall apart from such a hard landing. With the exception of a damaged water tank, its hull and innards remained intact. After the crew left the ship, it fell into a crevice. He is destined to stay here forever, like most of the crew.